Oh, I'm going to talk to you for a few moments as if I were your father. It isn't anything your mother could say. Do you, do you see? Your body is about to experience various changes, physical changes. Now, Mr. Abrahams has explained to you that in the beginning, God created he, man and woman, that the earth should be peopled abundantly. Yes, sir. Sir, what changes? I speak, Paul, of the sacred mystery of sex, the act of procreation between a man and his wife, the, the procreation, indeed, of all creeping things. You will discover that your membrum virilis, that's Latin for weir. Weir, sir, means man, sir. Very good, very good. Um, uh, look, uh, this might be easier if I... That, 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 um, that thing. There. Now, that will develop and grow larger. You see? And when that happens, the man lies very, very close to his wife. And he puts his membrum virilis into her vagina. Thus. And then, in due course, she will bring forth his child. Seminiferous tubules, labia, major and minor, ducts. Woolwa. That, that is the very crown of life, Paul. God's wondrous purpose. Your body is his temple. And you must never, ever pollute that temple. And when, as one day I am sure you will, you fall in love and marry, you will discover to serve and protect woman and have children by her is life's chiefest glory. Yes, sir. You must never, ever mention any of this to your mother or, or, or indeed to any lady. And if at your next school the fellows mention it, just shut them up. Tell them you know. I think I shan't marry. What? <laughs> Look, um, in ten years to the day, I invite you and your wife to dine with me and my wife as our guests. What do you say? Oh, sir! <laughs> yes. To bargain, then, is it? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, my God, those infernal designs. Sir, wouldn't they be all right? The tide will have covered them by now. Oh. Oh. That's the rising tide. I only hope to God he's right. My God. Oh, come, Victoria. Come. <laughs>